Hey, welcome back to the channel guys. I hope you're doing great. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create this animated box inside HitFilm Express without using any add-on. So um, if you have seen my previous tutorials, I have created this kind of animation using the Neon Path effect. But uh, Neon Path is available as an add-on. So if you want to use this add-on, you can just go ahead and use it. It's really simple. If you want to create this animation, you can just do this with the neon path effect with just two keyframes but um, if you don't want to use this add-on then you can just continue watching this video so uh, you just have your title set up okay and then all we'll do is we'll just create a rectangle so click on new layer click on plane and you can choose any color that you want click on okay so then after you create this plane layer go to transform and we'll just uh, turn down the opacity so that just we can see the text a bit more clearly and then we can just break the link on the scale and just you know create our rectangle uh, that we want to create so we can just create it any size that we want once you create the rectangle then uh, we can go to then what we would have to do is we need to add uh, four point layers so click on new layer and click on point and uh, each point layer is going to be on the on each of these corners on these four corners so this point layer will just rename this to one so this is our first point and i want to put this one on the top left corner of this rectangle like that and then we can just duplicate it we can rename this to two and we can just move it on the top right corner we can zoom in and just do the precise of the positioning and again we can duplicate it and this time we'll rename this to three and place it at the bottom left bottom right corner like that and then we can again duplicate it and rename this to four and we'll move it to the bottom left corner I can zoom in and just be precise with this okay so we have these four points and uh, then what we all to do is we just uh, select the new plane one and just drag it to the top let's go inside the transform and we'll reset the opacity reset the scale and then on this layer we will search for the we'll search for the effect called uh, light sword just light sword it's under there are so many light sword effects here but the one that we want is under generate light sword two point auto layer only supplied on this layer once you do that you just uh, go to effects and you have the light sword here so let's just go to the control tab expand the light sword and then the first thing that i'll do is we set the blend to none and uh, distortion we set that as zero then we will go in the outer glow um, we don't have to do anything with the outer glow so let's just go into the inner glow we'll set that to zero and uh, stability we set that to 100 and then we'll change the core so in the core we can change the color so we can just use any color that you want let's go with this one click on ok to apply it and then the feather will set that to zero and stability We'll set that to 100. Okay. So then uh, we can go to Hilt. Then the position we can click on None, and from this list we can select One. So this will basically um, just use the our first point layer, which is this one. We will just position the Hilt of this light sword to that position to the point. Then in the tip we'll click on None. On the position we'll set that to 2 and under the position we have this value right here I set it 300 we'll set that back to 0 so now it's going from point 0.1 to point 0.2 okay so uh, we have that and then we can just customize I think we can customize the width of this uh, so we can just go to core and we can just play around with the width as well so we can just play around with that I'll just go with just reset that to 100 we just we don't want to mess with that okay so we have that and I'm gonna rename this layer 
oh uh, I forgot to animate it so uh, under hilt and tip you have the extension option so we can keyframe that so let's just create a keyframe set the extension to 0 we can move 20 frames forward and set the extension to 100 so we have this kind of animation and then we can um, move forward so let's just rename this layer to top since this is the top of our rectangle I'm going to duplicate this layer and we're going to go uh, clockwise so I'm gonna just reveal the right side of the rectangle so we just rename this to right and let's go inside effects light sword and again we have the hilt and the tip so in the hilt we'll set the position to 2 and in the tip we we'll set the position to 3 okay so now uh, if we play this again you can see that these lines are going to reveal at the same time we don't want that um, so we'll go to effects light sword and extension we can select these two keyframes and we'll place the keyframe at the we'll start it at the 20th frame so now our top edge or the top line will reveal first and then followed by the right edge okay so uh, then we just continue doing this we can duplicate it and set rename this to bottom and again go to effects light sword set the hilt change it from 2 to 3 and then the tip will change the position from 3 to 4 and again we'll just select uh, the keyframes and just put them 20 frames forward so we have something like that okay then we can again duplicate it rename this to left again go to transform uh, I mean the effects you know effects light sword and we can keyframe the we'll go to hilt set the position to 4 and in the tip we'll set the position to 1 so it's gonna go back to the first point so something like that and again we will select the keyframes and move them 20 frames forward so now we have this kind of animation so that's how you can create this animation in HitFilm Express and obviously you can search for extension and we can select all these keyframes and convert these to manual bezier and now you'll have some and now you'll have a bit more smoother animation so that concludes this tutorial i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i hope you learned something new if you did uh, do consider liking the video and also subscribing to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one